Okay, two rounds, nine millimeter auto glass. Okay guys, here's the amazing part about this. Prior to HST, there were no conventional bullets on the market that would stay together through auto glass. Like we said earlier, in our heavier grain weights, go ahead and pull them. In our heavier grain weights, HST will stay together through auto glass. That core and jacket is supposed to separate through auto glass, but it doesn't. Um, that really stands us out from our competition. You get a round that's more affordable, and still giving you the ballistic performance of a bonded bullet in most cases, which is incredible. And you can see the angles. Remember I told you the top part of the glass, last impacting part. It flattens out one side. It tries so hard to rip that jacket off. But because that core is large enough in the front end of that, it protects that jacket on the lip enough to where it won't pull it apart. All right, you guys see the difference here? Everybody come see this. We're almost done. Wow. We're talking temporary and wound cavity, permanent wound cavity, the difference in the velocities of the, of the two platforms, a handgun versus a rifle. You look at the temporary wound cavity on a handgun. Now you look at the temporary wound cavity on a rifle. All of this in here is actually doing permanent damage to vital organs inside. That is actually tearing and separating and trashing tissue where this is only where the bullet is going through. And expanding With the velocity 22, going that's so going to be point did it just five just nine now down. probably, yeah. point six yeah. one maybe, yeah. and yeah. that temporary yeah. wound cavity, five and a half inches around is tearing tissue, mm -hmm. which that's I'm why, about like to show you. Classroom, like we're on the, on the slides. Remember how yeah. I said the, the difference? Mm -hmm. yeah. Handgun, only oh. permanent wound cavity. Remember that?